So this video is going to show you how to use your TI-83 or TI-84 calculator to compute a confidence interval for the mean uh, when your standard deviation uh, for the population is not known. Um, so in that case, you need to uh, compute the standard deviation from your data, uh, or perhaps someone's already provided a calculated sample standard deviation. So this particular example, uh, so for my students, you'll recognize it as coming from our notes. And I've got data for eight school districts with salaries for substitute teachers. And we're interested in finding a 99% confidence interval for mean salary for substitute teachers in this region. Uh, so we need to go ahead and compute then our mean and standard deviation. And if you haven't done this before, I, I do have another video up to show you how to enter data and find one variable statistics. Um, so I'm going to step through that piece a little bit quicker. Um, so I'm going to go through stat. So I'm going to click on the stat button and then hint, hit enter for edit. And I'm going to insert my data and I need to pay attention to where that goes. So I'm sticking it under the L1 variable. So I've got 60, enter. 56, 60, always check yourself, 55, 70, another 55, 60, and 55. Okay, and again, take another look, 55, 60, 55, 70, 55, 60, 56, and 60. And then you can get out of there. And just remember that we're using the L1 um, variable. So now to get to um, confidence intervals, that is under your stat menu. So you're going to hit on stat. So that's right there. And go over, so page over with your arrows to the right, to test. And you're going to then need to use the down arrow to get to. And so we are doing, so it's option number eight and this is a T interval. So remember, we're in the scenario where we need to use a sample standard deviation, so we're computing a T um, critical value for our confidence interval. So I'm going to enter on that. And then you'll see two options. So one is to compute the confidence interval from data. Um, so here we entered our data, so we're going to use that. And I'll come back and show you what is meant by um, computing it from statistics. So I'm going to keep data highlighted. Um, this list is uh, where you specify the variable you put your data under. And so I did put mine in L1, so I'm going to leave that. Um, freak, so this is uh, if you happen to have data that occurs in your list um, and it's represented more than once. Um, so for us, each of those observations are representing just one um, observation in your sample, so leave frequency to one. And then for the confidence level, so I'm interested in a 99%, so I'm going to change that to 0.99, and then I'm going to hit calculate. And if you notice, uh, a couple things pop up, so it tells us our sample size is 8, so that's a good confirmation. It does give my sample standard deviation, so here's my 5.083, so I've got that summarized in my um, slide to your left here. Uh, it gives me my mean, so 58.875, and then it has gone through and computed my confidence interval. Um, and so I've rounded this, uh, so my precision for my data uh, were, was in uh, just digits. So I'm going to give a little more precision, so one more decimal point, and so I'm rounding that to 52.6 and 65.2. And so I've got my confidence interval um, ranging between those two values. Um, so if I go back, so I'm going to hit the stat menu again and go over to test and the T interval. Right. So if you say someone had computed your statistics, so your sample mean and sample standard deviation for you, um, or maybe you're reading a paper and those have been given and you're wanting to compute a confidence interval, um, then you're going to compute the confidence interval based on stats. So select that. Um, and here it's actually, it carried over our data, um, but for you, you would have to enter that if it hadn't already um, come from another calculation. 
and notice that you'd put in your sample mean, you'd put in your sample standard deviation. So these could be, say, something, again, you pulled from a paper or that someone provided you. And then this will calculate the confidence interval directly from your statistics, as opposed to having to compute it um, from the raw data. And so it gives you, it's the same thing, just a, a different means of calculating it. Um, one final point. So if you are playing around with this, you'll also notice that uh, menu option uh, 7 is a Z interval, so you need to be careful. Um, if you do happen to have the population standard deviation, wonderful, you can use your Z interval. And um, much of the same format uh, for the menu is there, so you can compute a Z interval from your data. And you'll notice that one difference here is that you have to then specify that sigma. So for a Z interval, you're saying, I know my population standard deviation. Um, so that's something that um, you could also give a, give a test out of if you happen to have that. And um, that should get you confidence intervals with your calculator.